Oh, hello there. Yes, the class warrior in me has been fired up in the last 24 hours. So I'm going to tell you a brief tale with some clips from the media, obviously. Anyway, yesterday morning there was a, a statement was put out on uh, X, as it is now. Still Twitter, mate, isn't it? Um, uh, by, uh, uh, regarding Lawrence Fox, and I'm going to read that to you. Uh, came through about half ten. Statement by Lawrence Fox. Court of Appeal acknowledged that racism an ordinary word everyone understands, not the woke definition which brands anyone racist who objects to critical race theory, a racist teaching promoted by Black Lives Matter that discriminates against white people. Yes. And you sit there thinking, eh? Ah, oh, is that something about his court case? Yes, it was. The news finally filtered through to actual news stations a short while later. Um, let's just read on because he followed up with um, all are created equal. Any theory, vertical commas, such as critical race theory, which tarnishes this timely truth, is, and is false and just a political tool. Yes, indeed. Falseness bad. Uh, Nicola Thorpe. Nicola Thorpe's defamation case against me dismissed by the Court of Appeal. Hurrah! The other claims now progress to trial in November, where I will vindicate my reputation. Yes, indeed, it's going to vindicate his reputation. Anyway, to cut a long story short, uh, there's a link or two down below. Uh, what happened was um, he got into a spat with uh, three individuals um, who he decided to call uh, paedophiles. As you do. Um, his expectation, as he explained in court, was that nobody would believe they were paedophiles. It's just one of those words that you can just throw at anybody. It doesn't really matter because he's a free speech advocate. Anyway, um, they called him in return a racist, which of course you can't do. So he took them to court because he's a a free speech advocate. Anyway, um, yesterday the judge decided that Nicola Thorpe, um, being female, couldn't, any reasonable person, this is what a lot of this hinges on, any reasonable person wouldn't believe she was a paedophile because she's female, whereas the other two, what being blokes, yeah, or a reasonable person might believe that they were. So this is what we're going to get in November. Uh, the judges kicked out the notion of uh, Loza having uh, a jury trial, which means that if he loses, of course, he can blame lefty lawyers. Perfect position. Anyway, so, anyways, free speech advocate taking people to court, etc., etc., etc. But um, oh, now we have the unedifying spectacle of circles wagoning or wagoning circles yeah you know what i mean those things um we he all his mates have decided to uh, join in saying about what about how dreadful it is and uh, everyone everyone that isn't laws of fox is really horrible you've got kelvin mckenzie slagging off nicola because obviously a man with his high high and esteemed reputation you want on your side and um you, uh, this morning on my twitter feed i uh, I woke up to Peter Whittle. You'd want him on your side too, wouldn't you? An esteemed man, not a racist, uh, but an esteemed man um, on your side. And um, yeah, overnight, Dougie Murray, his mate, Loz's mate, Dougie Murray, not a racist. Remember that, not a racist, might be a paedophile. I think we're allowed to say that, are we? No, we're not. We're going to find out in November. Anyway, Dougie had written a piece in the Telegraph saying about how dreadful it is because you can prove that somebody is a paedophile, but you can't prove that someone's racist. And I would inherently agree with uh, with Doug Murray about this because, after all, I can't think of any other words that you might bandy about to people that might describe them uh, in a way that is meaningless. Can you think of any? Oh, yeah. Woke. There you go. Yes, which is something Dougie uses all the time against anybody that he threatens his particular class position, don't they? Yeah, you can call anyone woke you want to. Junior doctors, nurses, teachers, unidentified civil servants, anyone that care cares about the environment, anyone that doesn't vote for certain right-wing elements of the Conservative Party, anyone who's ever cycled, the list is almost endless. These people are woke, even though, oddly, you can't actually prove that they are. And nobody's going to go to court over that, are they? 
I think you can actually prove that someone's a racist, and I think any reasonable person, which is where this hinges, would say so as well. But you've got to admire the guy, because listen to this, one of the last paragraphs in the piece. It is not sustainable to have a society in which the most damaging accusations include accusations which are not easily disprovable. Accusations which can ruin a person's career and then simply be said to be in the eye of the beholder. Hmm. No. We have a legal system in this country for a reason. One that is one based not on the rule of law, but also on the belief in and the pursuit of truth. Yes, but also on the ability of someone to pay. And Loza has a lot of mates just like him, went to posh school, just like him, who have deep pockets. And they'll make sure that he has his day in court when I will look forward to the world staring at him and laughing yet again. But people like Doug and Loza are immune to such things because that's what the wealthy are. They're immune to such criticism. They can do whatever they want and say whatever they want because right is always on their side. Anyway, do have a lovely Saturday. Do enjoy it.